What's going on everybody? It's Matt from the Hair Transplant Channel here and we might be closer to another possible hair loss cure this year, if not this year, maybe the next one. Depends on how fast this drug, this substance will be FDA approved. How fast will this substance arrive to the market? We are talking about Way 316606 testing formula. <clears throat> Let's call it just whey right now, so it's simple for me. So this substance contains cyclosporin A, which was first used for osteoporosis and blah, blah, blah. Nothing with hair loss, all right? So I'm not gonna go too much into that. So what they found out that the cyclosporin A substance, which cannot unfortunately be used to promote hair growth or against hair loss uh, alone, because it's kind of like toxic, what they are claiming. So they developed this formula, this whey formula, which contains also this cyclosporin A, and they realized that it somehow has a beneficial effect on hair growth. Uh, what, what, what are the results here, okay? The black one is the group where they didn't use the formula, and the red one is the group where they use the whey formula. And on the left, you can see the, <clears throat> the elongation of the hair, of the hair shaft after two days, four days, six days. So here, this is the elongation scale and on the right, we can see the day two, the time scale, okay? The day, day two, day four, day six. And what we can see the difference is after two days, after four days and after six days, we can see that the group uh, who used the whey formula or kind of applied it topically, we can see that the whey formula kind of holds its superiority. After two, four, six days, probably it's gonna go linear like this. So if you will keep using the formula, you're, you will get a better hair growth, okay? How did they test it? They tested on 40 patients, on 40 hair transplant patients, actually. So those 40 patients here just donored their hair follicles. I don't know from which side, maybe from the top, maybe from the donor area, who knows? It's not really important now, but we can see even here that this is without the whey formula. The yellow one and the red one is with the whey formula. See, it's it's longer. It's a little bit longer after, and those are the real hair shafts, okay? So this is, uh, they, they proved, this is the University of Manchester. There are some, they made some trials uh, with and without the whey formula. What's the kind of the story behind it? Why should this whey formula be helpful? Okay, let's kind of get a little bit scientific. So what does this whey formula do in, in, in our scalp if you apply it? It blocks the bad guy from blocking the good guy. So who is the bad guy here? Is the SFRP, is like secretly frizzled protein one, which is blocking the good guy, this WNT, from its activity. So now if we apply the formula, okay, the whey formula, we will get less SFRP1 and we will get more WNT. WNT pathways are made of protein. They are signaling a lot of important information to our HFSC, hair follicle stem cells, to enable a lot of processes or to disable a lot of processes. To switch from the antigen to telogen phase and backwards, they're signaling to the stem cells when to multiply more, when to regenerate and when to like rest, yeah, right during the resting phase, the telogen phase and when to really start multiplying again and stuff like that. So those WNT pathways are really crucial again when it comes to hair growth and again the whey formula is actually enabling or unblocking those WNT pathways so they can be active and they can provide a lot of information to the hair to the stem cells of the hair follicles okay so this is important uh, let's hope the trials will continue and we will soon have a complex solution of this whey formula. This is probably gonna get another name when it's gonna be like FDA approved and uh, being sold at the pharmacies is probably gonna get more simpler name. But uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I'm gonna definitely 
keep you updated. But again, we had a successful trial of 40 hair follicles already, 40 donored hair shafts of 40 patients. And we can see that, uh, that the graft, that the hair shaft elongation uh, was successful by using this wave formula by every single patient. And this is just it guys, yeah? So this is basically how it works. You know what the wave formula does. And I'm gonna put the link below of the of the study on the WNT pathways. I'm gonna put the study on the way formula and the, the cyclosporin A as well. So there are gonna be two links. So I hope you can benefit from it. And at the end, thank you so much for watching. If something is gonna change, I'm gonna update you very soon. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video.